Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how a simple watch strap can totally transform the look of your timepiece and dramatically increase the versatility of your watch. Thank you for tuning in to today's video on our YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to discuss something that is a little bit outside of our core lane, and that is watch straps. We don't sell watch straps here at KirbyAllison.com, but they are so important. And with our recent video where I traveled to London and had a bespoke watch strap created by Paris-based atelier Jean Rousseau, I have fallen in love with how much a watch strap can transform a watch for little to no money, especially when compared to the life of a timepiece. Now, just like a new pair of shoelaces to a pair of shoes can completely transform and change the look of those shoes, a new watch strap to a watch uh, can do the same. What I like about a watch strap in the same uh, spirit as a pair of shoelaces, although slightly different uh, orders of magnitude, is that for a fraction of the cost of a timepiece, you can completely change the look. Now, Jean Rousseau is a Paris-based watch strap manufacturer uh, that has been making watch straps for some of Swiss's greatest brands since the 1960s. Uh, in the late 1990s, they started their own brand, Jean Rousseau, selling direct to the public. And what they really revolutionized was the quick release mechanism. Now, the quick release mechanism allows their beautiful watch straps to be easily and quickly switched out. So in this case right here, you can see I have five different watch straps that in a matter of moments, I could change out, totally transforming the look of my watch. Now, most men uh, will try to match their hardware and their leather colors together. So if you're wearing a black pair of shoes, you would want to wear a black belt and match your black watch band. But in a case here where I've got this beautiful Chopard timepiece, uh, it works just as well with black as it does brown. Or in this case, in the most recent example of my bespoke uh, commission from Jean Rousseau, I have this beautiful green suede crocodile uh, with gold stitching. And it's actually gold stitching, 24 karat gold stitching. So I thought in this video, I would start with just reviewing the various watch straps that I have from Jean Rousseau that are a part of my collection. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch those watch straps out using Jean Rousseau's quick release mechanism. So first up, this is, of course, my Chopard watch. Those that watch the channel uh, will remember that this was a gift for my wife on my 30th birthday. Uh, and this is uh, just such a sentimental and special timepiece to me. Uh, it is a watch that I hope one day to give as a gift to my son, Nathaniel. Now, what I love about this Chopard timepiece is its classic elegance. It has a 38 millimeter case. Uh, which by today's standard is quite uh, small. Uh, you know, Rolex is pushing 42 on some of their watches, but it is a classic and elegant and a timeless uh, size that for my wrist is perfect. Now, what I love most about this watch, of course, is its complexity, the complications. This is what uh, really drives so many of us to Swiss watches. Uh, this piece is a vintage piece from the 1990s, and it has a perpetual calendar with a retrograde date. Uh, now, vintage, uh, I was able to acquire this for a fraction of what a new watch like this would cost new. Uh, and so I have to say it's very special. It's a piece I love. Uh, and amongst all of my watches, it is without question my favorite and the one I find myself going to time and time again in the morning. So then the question is, uh, when one invests in such a significant timepiece like this, how do they increase the versatility or the yield, if you'll forgive me for using financial lingo, uh, of this watch? Well, Jean Rousseau has that answer, and that is in the quick release mechanism. Uh, you can see that this watch uh, is pictured here uh, with what for me is quite a bold green suede alligator with gold stitching. Uh, this is a statement watch strap that completely transforms the look of this watch. But I could easily switch this out for something that is more classic and more subtle. And that's what I have right here, and I'm going to review these with you. So the first watch strap, of course, that I added to my collection was a classic black alligator. Uh, this is the quintessentially classic and elegant watch strap that one would expect on a timepiece of this caliber. Uh, this is, uh, without question, a formal watch strap uh, that I'll wear in the evening. Uh, and this is as safe of a bet as there is. I mean, you can't go wrong with a black watch strap. Uh, the crocodile only further enhances the formality of this watch strap and the watch itself, which is perfectly paired 
for this Chopard Perpetual Calendar. Now that said, let's say I wanted to wear this timepiece uh, in Paris with a pair of brown shoes or on the weekend, uh, it wouldn't be appropriate really with a black crocodile watch strap. So this is where Jean Rousseau comes in. Here I have another beautiful brown watch strap with the quick release mechanism, making it very easy to switch out in a simple brown calfskin. Again, same watch, same investment for a few hundred dollars, a separate watch strap, and it completely transforms. And really in many cases, uh, you could say doubles the useful uh, life of this watch and the number of times that I could wear it. Now, I love brown, I love black, uh, but if you're looking to mix things up a little bit, add a touch of sophistication outside the ordinary, how do you change that? Well, here I have a beautiful navy blue crocodile watch strap. Again, uh, at night, it looks like a black, uh, in many ways in the same as a midnight blue tuxedo, uh, but with the right light, you're able to tell that it's something more than just a simple black watch strap. Again, putting these two together, you can see how not only has this developed a little bit of patina over the years, but wearing it with something like this, with the blue jacket, it really kind of pulls that out, and it's an opportunity to mix it up and really change the character of that Chopard watch. So this would be mixing it up a little bit in the vein of formality. What about mixing it up a little bit in the vein of informality? That is where this next watch strap comes in. Again, another absolutely beautiful watch strap from Jean Rousseau. This is in a brown lizard. Again, what I like about Jean Rousseau is they have access to this incredible collection and wide array of different leathers. Uh, and not just leathers, but uh, hundreds, if not thousands of different colors. Uh, and so it allows you, uh, as someone that's commissioning a strap, to really personalize it uh, to your unique tastes, interests, and to the particular occasion or way in which you find yourself or envision yourself wearing that watch. Uh, so these are my five watch straps. Uh, and again, you know, I don't have five different timepieces. There's no way I could afford uh, five watches of this caliber. Uh, but with the quick release mechanism from Jean Rousseau, I can very quickly and very easily completely change the character of this watch. Oftentimes, whenever I'm traveling, I'll take at a minimum one extra watch strap. So if I was going to London uh, and traveling to Paris, you know, maybe I would take uh, my midnight blue uh, crocodile watch strap. But for Paris, I know I'm going to be wearing this with brown shoes, uh, and I would take my brown lizard uh, watch strap. So again, same watch, but two totally different looks. But let's go through how to switch out this watch strap. So one of the things I always do before I switch out a watch strap uh, is I close the watch band. What this does, it allows me to keep both pieces together without them uh, separating from one another. I always start at the top, and if you look on the inside, you can see the pin exists right there it's a spring-loaded mechanism, right? It's tight, right? It's not going to fall off. I've actually never had one of these watch straps fail. Uh, and so you can rest assured that your timepiece uh, is still very securely strapped to your wrist. But with uh, your fingernail, right, you simply depress that. It activates that spring mechanism. Uh, and then the watch strap simply comes off the barrel there. So I've got the bottom side of this unfastened. Now, whenever I'm switching out my watch straps, I'll always attach the bottom of the strap with which I'm replacing it first because it allows me to just keep straight which side is what. So I've got the bottom uh, unfastened, right? And so now I'm going to take the watch strap with which I'm going to replace it. Let's go with the black one, right? And then I'm going to find short end with the clasp or the buckle. And I'm going to, again, activate that spring mechanism I always like to wiggle it a little bit to just make sure it is firmly locked. Uh, and then I'm going to take the other one. Again, you can see it right here, that quick release. Push that down, take that off, and then attach the other one. All right, so there we go, let's see. So again, show part perpetual calendar, right? With a black crocodile strap, you can see it's a completely different watch. And honestly, uh, it doesn't really work for what I'm wearing right now. I've got a beautiful a blue uh, jacket. I'm wearing a, a pink summer tie. This black strap just doesn't do it. So let's try it with the brown strap. So I'm going to take this off. Again, I always refasten the buckle so that I keep those two pieces together. I always start with the top, just depressing that spring-loaded barrel, pulling it off. Let's go for the brown. All right, okay. Finding the buckle strap right here. To press that down, pull the other one off. Take a look at this. 
And let's try this on. You guys let me know what you think. Black or brown leather in this case. There we go, look at that. I mean, completely different watch uh, just by simply changing out that watch strap. Uh, it is that detail about the quick release mechanism I have to say I love. Uh, and uh, in our shop video uh, where we visited the John Rousseau, I spoke at great length about how uh, it's probably actually my wife that has more of these watch straps than I do. Uh, you know, women, at least my wife, is much more fashion oriented than classic, uh, classically oriented in the way that she dresses. And so for her, you know, she's got a beautiful collection of Cartier uh, watches. Uh, and being able to switch out that watch strap with bright, vibrant colors uh, is something that she really enjoys doing. Uh, and it's like, you know, making one watch have 10 different personalities. Okay, so let's pull this off and let's try the dark navy, right? That midnight blue. Okay, so I pulled the top off and I'm going to make sure I grab the strap with the buckle. Got to put that on. All right. Release the bottom. I always test it. Now what's interesting, right? And again, this so beautifully showcases what a watch strap can do, uh, is I would say that the black watch strap was probably a little bit too much for this outfit. Uh, too formal, too stark, right? Uh, but this navy blue, this midnight blue, again, because of the blue in the jacket, you know, really works beautifully. It's a completely different watch. Uh, if I was going out maybe uh, in the evening, didn't have time uh, to uh, change, uh, but I could quickly uh, swap out my watch strap. And again, it is a totally new watch. Now, again, it was actually Mark Cho at the Armory. Everyone knows is a massive watch collector that suggested Lizard. Um, so it was at his recommendation that I had this made. Swap that out. And again, what I like about this is it's a rather unusual material uh, that you don't see very often. And so it's just that touch of sophistication that separates uh, you from everyone else, makes uh, your watch even more distinctive. Uh, you don't see it very often. And so whenever you do, it really stands out. And then here we go again, absolutely beautiful. See, it's got a little bit of sweat standing on the edge, probably is due a replacement, or you could say that this has just developed a little bit of patina. Uh, I also had the padding of this built up because the uh, lizard uh, is uh, less formal. I thought by building up the padding, giving it a little bit more dimensionality would help, again, level out this watch so that uh, it was balanced uh, in its look. And then finally for the showstopper. So uh, this was a watch strap that never in a million years I would have commissioned on my own initiative, but you know, just like a skilled tailor, uh, the people at Jean Rousseau have an eye for watch straps and Audrey, uh, who is their marketing manager and that was in London, uh, was able to convince me and really talk me into trying, going out on the limb, if you will, and trying this beautiful green suede crocodile with literally 24 karat gold uh, stitching. Again, never in my life uh, is it something I would have chosen for myself, uh, but I have to say, after seeing this made up, I really fell in love with it. It's fast become my favorite watch strap. And you put this on, wow. I mean, look at that. Look at how this watch pops. I mean, it's been given a completely new personality just with a new watch strap. Now, several hundred dollars for one of these watch straps. They are made bespoke. They do have uh, ones that can, uh, you know, just be bought uh, off the shelf that aren't as expensive. But compared to the cost of this watch, I mean, it is a fraction of the amount of money a new watch would cost. And so what I love is that again, it is individualized, it has personality, uh, and you know, switching out the watch straps ensures that over the next 20, 30, 40 years, uh, hopefully that I enjoy this watch in good health. I'll never grow tired of it uh, because the watch straps can be very easily replaced. Uh, so there we have it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'd love to know which of these five straps was your favorite. Uh, and then if you would have something else made, if you were to recommend a sixth watch strap for me, uh, what would you suggest that I have made? I might be seeing Jean Rousseau again. And so I'd love to see in the comments section what it is you think I should do next. Now, if you're watching this channel for the first time, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and visit KirbyAllison.com. Of course, that is the best way to support the content that we film here on this channel is simply shopping at KirbyAllison.com. There you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed, like this beautiful sovereign grade necktie, pocket square, 
braces, over-the-cap socks, cigar accoutrement, and really so much more. Uh, so make sure you take a moment after you watch this video uh, to visit our website. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobe while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.